there guys welcome back to the channel thanks very much for joining us again today i've got a very short video for you today that will review canva uh, just before i get into it there's a link in the description to this video that will take you straight to canva for free um so if you decide after watching the video that you want to give it all a go then just click the link in the description and that will allow you to do so so Straight from the top, I'm going to tell you, I think that Canva is a very, very good platform. Um, I also recommend it to students all the time. You know, it's it's something that if you're not versed in still image manipulation and if you're not accustomed to it and you don't really know how to use something like Photoshop, then it's a fantastic way into that. And it's also a really good way of creating high quality images for a multitude of uses. Very, very easy. Um, because of the way it works and because of the way it uses templates and allows you to modify them, you know, completely and fully modify them, um, I, th I think it's a very easy and efficient way, like I said, to to create something which is very eye-catching and very professional. It's, you know, suitable for a lot more stuff than just, you know, still image manipulation. Obviously, you can see that there's a video section here, you know, straight out the box, but you know, it's primarily known for still images. However, this does, you know, um, extend this range of uses and make it even better now as well, you know. And for a free platform, I think it is fantastic. You know, it's almost every single feature is available to you. It just kind of tempts you into the, the sort of more paid mode by just showing you higher quality templates, really. You know, everything is, suit, you know, available and you can fully render an image without any kind of watermarks or anything and go through the entire process so you can fully make use of the platform for absolutely free and that's fantastic i think as well you know it's um everything's got its limits obviously you know and um it does then come up short of something like photoshop by quite a distance obviously you know the the level of intricacy and the level of detail you can go into in something like photoshop is far beyond canva but it's for that person that's either on their way to Photoshop or something like that, or, and I mean something like that in terms of another platform, you know, GIMP or whatever it would be, or someone who doesn't want to get there and, and just needs sort of social image content or uh, social media content um, for images and short videos and just eye-catching stuff for leaflets and print and whatever your kind of needs, really. It's really good so obviously like i said it starts from templates so once you go into those templates you can see the multitude of you know things available to you and you know the fact that you start by deciding what your uh, end product is going to be appearing on or used for you know so the the sort of end purpose of your product is taken into account initially straight off the bat which is really important which is definitely something that you know, should be accounted for at this pro at this stage, you know. So setting it up based on what you need it for ensures that you're going to end up with something that's fit for that purpose, you know. So if that makes sense. Um, as you can see that it's, you know, you can make logos and all kinds of stuff in here. And the, the way it auto-saves and everything exists on a server, you know, you can get at it from anywhere. It's, yeah, a really, really fantastic platform, I'd say, you know. Um, obviously, it's got its limitations and the rendering system and um you know most things come up short of photoshop you know the fonts are limited and it hasn't got the customizable interface and you know there's hardly any of the sort of third party features and plugins and, and that kind of stuff you know so um but like i said it's for that intermediate user and also for mobile devices you know it's very very accessible and make a lot of use for it on uh, social media and things like that for advertising various things and just sort of kicking out a very quick advert if you've got a platform that you need content for uh, and you need to drip feed things for then it's ideal for just doing stuff like that on the go without sitting down at a computer and creating something and uh, from scratch in something like photoshop you know so yeah, so that would conclude my review. I would give it a big thumbs up. There's a link to try it in the description for this video, so I'd highly recommend you do so. Let us know what you think as well in the comments. Um, if you'd like that review and you'd like to see more sort of educational content and tutorial-based stuff, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. 
and if you've got any uh, questions or suggestions for future videos leave them as comments down below as well thank you very much